The sports world, meanwhile, is still trying to keep its matches happening despite the rise of Omicron. The African Football Confederation has announced that CAN, the Africa Cup of Nations, will go on as planned in January and early February next year in Cameroon. Well, for more on that, let's bring in Claudio Nisono in Yaoundé. Claudio, what more can you tell us? Well, um, like you mentioned, the African Cup of Nations 2021 will go on as planned, according to um, the Cameroon government. It has uh, prided itself to have welcomed over 16 um, teams for the African Nations Championship in 2020, which it um, hosted um, successfully and safely. So for the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations, they are putting in place a very robust anti-COVID vaccination uh, plan. Fans will have to be fully vaccinated and uh, present um, a negative COVID-19 test results to be allowed to um, watch uh, matches live. And although only 2% of the Cameroonian population has been vaccinated this far, it should be recorded that um, Cameroon has recorded only 1,841 COVID-19 deaths um, since the beginning of the pandemic, and only 450 active uh, cases, according to its health minister. So organizing this kind of tournament is an incredible endeavor. Is Cameroon going to be ready on time, not just in regard to Omicron, but just in regard to the infrastructure? With regard to infrastructure, everything is set to be ready, according to um, Cameroonian authorities. But what I think is a major concern to many people is um, insecurity in the English-speaking regions of the country. And this is because there's an ongoing um, armed separatist conflict, which has uh, recorded um, over 5,000 deaths in the last five years. But to ensure the safety of uh, everyone throughout the tournament, Cameroonian authorities have promised to deploy more troops to the Anglophone regions in order to uh, prevent um, separatist attacks during the competition. Claudia, thank you for that. Claudia and Sono reporting for us from Yaoundé.